So this video will demonstrate how to code PDFs that are that include images or where the image is also text. Um, because say with older scanned or pub scanned publications that were scanned on old scanners not using optical character recognition, you don't have text in your PDF. You have an image of the text, uh, which means it's not searchable, but it is codable. Obviously, with full text, I can search as well as code and search and code. So here's a PDF and here's some themes or codes on the left hand side. If it's an image within the PDF, when I click into the PDF to code it, you'll see when I select a passage of text that it's coding by region in the PDF option here at the top. So I can code the image or part of the image to a node. I'm going to code it to balance. Um, what I see now inside the node uh, when I open up balance is that the text is coded there. Sometimes people get a bit confused because when the node opens, it's going to give me a grid reference as to where in this document it is. So you can see there um, my reference. It's down here somewhere. Sorry. Um, there. But this is my grid reference here. You can see it's just a number reference. But on the side here, there's a PDF tab. And if I go in there, I can see the documents in full up here at the top and I can see the passage highlighted here that's been coded. Now that works exactly the same way with text or images of text. So up here again, I have the option to code text or region. If my document has text in it, I can select the text passage just like you could in an interview or any other document, and I could code it. So I'll put that back up into balance again. And that's what I get. But if that's not text, then what I can do is I can click in here again and select region and simply highlight the passage. It might not be the full thing. It could just be a certain number of lines or it could be the whole paragraph. And I code that. Now in my balance node, what I see now is the full passage of text that was coded. And that would equally apply whether that's text or an image of text. So I should be able to work in a normal way with any PDF, regardless of what format it's in or what it's, uh, how its content is laid out. So I hope that's helpful.